Good morning, Messiah. Please stand and sing with us this morning. turn and face the cross. We welcome you to uh, this fourth Sunday in Advent, uh, a Sunday uh, at this contemporary service where our children kind of take over for the service and, and, and our youth are going to lead us in the message uh, and we're going to celebrate the, the gift that we're preparing to unwrap on Christmas. Jesus our Savior. Let us continue to sing. children in thy tender care and fit a 
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And let us pray. Uh, Holy God, we give thanks uh, for the gift of Jesus that we're all anxiously ready to unwrap. Help us be faithful, Lord, in the midst of our lives, and may we learn from our children uh, the innocence and trust that they have for you. And we learn from them, Lord, and grow stronger in faith. Amen. <laughs> we're going to we're going to light our candles now. be seated. I'm going to invite our children forward. Invite the children forward. You guys just sit right here on the floor. Laura, you want to sit there to just... <laughs> All right. <laughs> So can you guys tell me what is going on this upcoming week? Christmas. 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 Good. Now who, com who comes at Christmas? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa does come at Christmas. And that is so exciting, right? Because he brings us all kinds of really cool stuff, right? Are you guys asking for anything special? And he might remember. I hope he remembers, right? Yeah. I hope he brings that. Absolutely. So there's all kinds of really cool stuff that Santa is going to bring, I think. But the one thing that really happens at Christmas that's even more important than Santa. Jesus' birthday. Oh, there we go. Jesus' birthday. Good job. So. January is your birthday, okay. So, a little bit after Jesus. So, there you go. So, I have. Good. So, boys and girls, do you guys know or ever heard the story about Jesus being born? Yeah? And Chris, it's around Christmas. There's all kinds of really cool details and cool parts of the story. So, the really cool thing is today I have a bunch of my big kids with me today, and they are going to show you how Jesus was born and the story of it. So, are you guys ready for that? I might need, I think I might need some of your guys' help though with it, if that's okay. Do you guys know part of the details? Yes. You guys know the details of it? Good. So, I know. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. 
So, boys and girls, we're gonna get ready, okay? Can you guys just sit and listen for a minute, and then I might ask for your help though, okay? Okay. All right? So, the story starts with Mary, and Mary is sitting around, and all of a sudden, an angel appears and starts to talk to her. And she tells <laughs> Boys and girls, my angel hasn't showed up. Hold on. Angel? Jas Jasmine? You guys see an angel anywhere? No. Right there. Well, that's Mary. That's Mary. Ja <laughs> Jasmine. Ja Jasmine, you're supposed to be up here. Uh, all right, boys and girls, I'm so sorry. My angel was running late. <laughs> so, put your finger on it. Yeah, I'm sorry. An angel. Okay. Mary, put your phone away. You, you didn't have phone. All right. So, boys and girls, Mary and the angel started talking. And what did the angel say? Mary, hello. What's up? I come to you from God. And basically, here's the deal. Uh, you're going to have a baby, and you're going to name him Carl. Wait, hold on. <laughs> so, okay. Boys and girls, was the baby named Carl? No, it was Jesus. All right. I'm sure that was a really great name and all, but it's not what it's supposed to be, I don't think, right? It's supposed to be Jesus. Jesus, thank you. Okay. Are you good? <laughs> it was a test. Okay. Alright, so try that again. Alright. Hi, Mary. Um, I'm from, I'm an angel, messenger from God. Uh, and you're going to have a baby. He's going to bless you with a baby boy. And you're going to name him Jesus. I don't really want to have a baby. Um, can I, can I? Hey, Joseph, come here. So boys and girls, Mary and Joseph have decided that it's going to be awesome. They're going to carry God's child and name him Jesus. 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 Good. Jesus. So, VIP choir is going to sing <coughs> over there. Here we are. <laughs> the, uh, the boys and girls who are in the choir, you'll sing a song now. Thank you. 
All right, so, boys and girls, we've come to figure out that Mary and Joseph are going to have a baby and name him Jesus. So, has any of you, have any of you ever been on a far trip, on a long trip? Any of you ever been on, like, in a car for a really long time? Right? Yeah. And it's like, oh, I know you're going, oh, this is so long. And then all of a sudden, but the, anybody who's been on an airplane and it's been a little faster maybe, right? Yeah. So Mary and Joseph, they had to travel. Yeah. So the boys and girls. Well, Mary and Joseph, they had to ride on a special animal. No. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, you, what, what did you just say? No. I think, I think she thinks it was a donkey. It's supposed to be a donkey. There we go. There's our donkey. Okay. So we've got our donkey, right? So Mary and Joseph oh rode. Goodness, so I think they're getting ready to have a baby now. They rode really far in a car ride. Haven't you ever been in a car ride and had to go potty really bad? And you're like, My dad's stuff, I gotta go potty. Well, Mary's ready to have a baby, so she needs to find somewhere to have this baby. Let's see where she let's see where she goes. Boys and girls, did they stay in a hotel? No. Did they have a pool? No. no. A, a, wait, a beachfront view? No. No, exactly. A manger, exactly. So let's. Let's see if they can get this right this time, boys and girls. Let's see. So Mary and Joseph. Went to find a place to stay and to have a baby. Hi, do you need a room at this hotel for when you have a baby? Yeah, I'm actually also out of room, but I got this barn shed thing out back. That's I okay. guess that's fine. Let me go show you. All right, so Mary and Joseph traveled really far, found a place to finally have a baby. Now, it wasn't the greatest place in the world, but it was going to be the most special place. In Bethlehem, there we go. So, <laughs> you want to read it? Um, <laughs> so, boys and girls, they went to go have the baby in the manger. I think we have another song.
there's shepherds. Who, what, does anybody know what a shepherd is? Yeah, what's a shepherd? Um, it's the person who takes care of the sheep. The person who takes care of the sheep. Right. And what, what kind of noise does a sheep make? <laughs> ah! Right? Right? Not moo. Not any of those other animal noises. So, meanwhile, while all this is going on, while Mary and Joseph are preparing for Jesus to come, there's shepherds in the field taking care of their sheep. But, and an angel shows up. Phew. Hello, shepherds. Hi. I'm an angel, messenger from God, and I came to tell you that the Son of God has been born today at a barn a couple miles down. So I need you to come over here. Listen, man, I, I got sheep to watch. I don't, I don't think I can make it. Uh, Wait a minute. So, did the shepherds stay with their sheep? No. They went. They went? Okay. So, now, we know that Mary and Joseph traveled really far, far away, right? Yeah. We know that they had a baby named Jesus. 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 That's good. There were some people that went and visited, right? Who was the, who was the person the angel came and saw? The shepherds. The shepherds. The shepherds. Good, the shepherds. And they had, what as an animal they were taking care of? Sheep. Sheep, good. Oh, you guys know this whole story already. So now... Baby Jesus has been born, and everybody came to see them. Mary and Joseph were there, all the animals were there, the angel was there, which is really cool too, right? And the shepherd showed up, and then there were three kings who came too. So the three kings came out, and the kings gave baby Jesus presents. So they had... No. <laughs> Not that. No. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's great, but no. Uh, they had presents for Jesus. Much 
better than a lighter hand fanny and a book. <laughs> Here we go. So they gave, do you guys know what the presents were that they gave? Do you guys know what they were called? Um, gifts. Gifts? Yes, they were the gifts. Do you know what they were? They're kind of, they're kind of hard work, but. Maybe peanuts, maybe it's a problem. Maybe. Uh, but it was gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So gave them, and, and all of those were royal gifts that they were given to baby Jesus. And so, hold on a second. Okay. You guys aren't supposed to be holding a baby. That's weird. Okay, thank you. Put your phones away again. Don't need to sell to Jesus, okay? Boys and girls, I'm sorry. My high schoolers, you know, they get these phones and they just want to play with them all the time. So, Mary and Joseph were so blessed and so happy to have their baby with them. And they named him Jesus. And he was the Savior. So, during this Christmas season, yes, we get to celebrate our presents. Yes, we get to celebrate Santa. Yes, we get to celebrate time with family. I know that's one of the most important things to me is I get to see some of my family who I don't get to see often sometimes because um, they live a little bit farther away. So I get to see them through the holidays. You're going to see your grandma today? That's going to be awesome. You've never spent a night, so you're going to be excited to do that, right? So these are all gifts that we get too. But boys and girls, the big important gift to remember is that Jesus was born and he came to save us. And that no matter what kind of goofy things go on sometimes or some of the wrong things that go on, Jesus was born to save us and to save us from our sins and to love us always. Okay? Can we remember that this holiday season? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I think we have... Another song or two? Yes? You, we have the junior choir singing, I'm sorry. We have the big kids now, the, the middle kids singing the song. Okay? So you, you little, uh, younger one, you guys can go back to your parents if you want. Well, we're going to be singing here. So. Thank you, boys and girls.
Peace of the Lord be with you always. Please stand and share God's love and God's peace with each other this morning. Why don't you take everything out of your hands and let's just uh, breathe in the Holy Spirit and breathe out all that keeps us away from God as we lift up prayers today. If you like, hold out your hands as a sign of asking the Holy Spirit to become part of this moment and of your lives. Holy God, we give thanks this morning for your blessings, especially the blessings of 
children and youth and, and all those who work and lead in our midst, may we hear the Christ story over and over again from their laughter and their joy. Holy God, we give thanks for church and family and brothers and sisters in Christ who lead us and hold us and allow us to encourage them and hold them. May we be a strong community and family here, Lord, in the midst of Reynoldsburg, this place where we're called to do ministry. Holy God, in this important week of worship, where visitors will come on Christmas Eve. We ask for a blessing on all those who will be a part of that worship on Friday. The musicians and Alder Guild and ushers and sound and video people, and greeters and acolytes and crucifers, pastors. May your love be made known in the present of Christmas unwrapped by their joy and thanksgiving. Lord, we pray for those who are in the midst of the frenzy of holiday season are, are suffering themselves. We lift up all those who are alone and loneliness seems overwhelming. We lift up all those who are grieving a loss of someone who won't celebrate with them this year, especially Bev Hefkin. We pray for Kimberly and Meg and Lois and Susan and Jennifer and Ryan and Sherry and Adam, Karen and Jack and Judy, Bill, and David, Steve, Tanya, Courtney, Fred, Lindy, Dolly, Jerry, Eliza, Kathy, Roberta, Chris, and others named aloud now. Holy God, we pray over this bread and this wine, trusted in the promises that were made to us in our baptism, that your presence might be found with us when we gather and ask. We trust the promise of Jesus, who gathered his disciples on the night he was betrayed and took bread, broke it and gave thanks and said, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup and he blessed it and he gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a sign of the new covenant shed in my blood for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat this bread and drink this wine, we are proclaiming the very mystery of faith, the Christ is died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Fill us with your love. Land on us and make us your people. Send us to share the good news. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not in temptation, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
If you uh, came in without uh, a communion kit and you hope to commune with us right now, they are in the aisles where you can grab one uh, if you'd like to take a moment now. And let's release that uh, white wafer by pulling back the plaque or the plastic clear on top. The body of Christ given for you. Amen. And the foil. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Holy God, nourished and fed by your body and blood, may we be strengthened to be your people, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. Some announcements uh, before we go for the day. Uh, beginning with, uh, we want to give thanks to, uh, Laura, you want to stand up, and Allison, you back there? I just saw Allison. There she is, way in the back. Lori, stand up. Give thanks to Lori and Allison. Uh, the, the, the kids, uh, the small ones sing at the end of Sunday school practice. Allison leads them. And uh, Lori leads uh, our new junior choir right after uh, this worship service at 1030s on Sunday mornings. If you'd like to join them, uh, we'd, we'd love to have you. Uh, and then uh, we give thanks to Adam uh, uh, for putting that all together. Thanks, to Adam. We uh, and our and then of course the high school youth and the confirmation kids and the, and the children. And we made it through without the advent wreath getting knocked over or anything else. So there was it was it was, it was close calls. Um, Yesterday, we had breakfast with Santa, and, and they did a uh, wonderful uh, job. It was a good event. We had nearly 100 kids that came uh, and uh, served over 200 meals, and it was just, uh, it was just a really nice event. really ran well, uh, especially, um, again, high school kids were, were, and confirmation kids were the, were the primary volunteers for that event, and they did a, a wonderful job. You'd be proud of how well... Um, of how well these guys are, are, are teaching us our faith. Uh, offering envelopes, we're only going to have them out a few more weeks. If you haven't picked one up yet, uh, get one on your way out uh, with your name on it there. You can take about any ones you want, honestly, but, but try to find the one with your name on it. That'd be helpful for everybody else out there. And then uh, I think, Holly, are you going to be signing people up for lectors and, or not lectors, ushers? No. Yes? She is not. She's saying, Carl, stop talking. So, no. 11 o'clock, we still need some ushers, but I think we're okay here. Uh, we are, if you want to put flowers on the altar, uh, right behind uh, Carol's head and Leslie's head for me, uh, you, can, uh, you can do that. There's a sign-up genius that comes with your weekly email that you get, and it's also in the blue bulletin board that you, or I think that's white now because the world doesn't have blue paper any longer, but um, yeah, there, there's a Sign Up Genius link in there. If, if you don't want to figure out how Sign Up Genius works, because, you know, you're just, it's just too much technology for your world, uh, you could just call Linda in the office uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and she can, she can uh, get you signed up for a day like an anniversary or a birthday or remembrance of someone who passed or, or just to give glory to God to decorate our altars on Sunday mornings. And then you take those flowers home with you at the end of worship after that 11 o'clock service and enjoy them at home, too. There you go. Um, Christmas Eve worship is Friday, uh, so just a few days away. I, Friday's my day off, so I won't be here, but I wish you well. <laughs> the, uh, the, the worship is uh, 1.30. 4.30, 7.30, and 11. 1.30, 4.30, 7.30, and 11. Uh, this praise team leads the 4.30 service. The rest are, are traditional. Uh, there's going to be candlelight and, and silent night and, and, uh, and Holy Communion in the midst of all of them. And at the 4.30 and the 7.30, we have, uh, we have special gifts for the children that come forward, for the children's sermons for those. 
Uh, we do still need some help in the midst of those ushering and crucifying, crucifying, cru carrying the cross, <laughs> carrying the cross and acolyting. See, this is what happens when I don't talk a lot during the worship service. I lose all my words. Uh, if, if you can help out, you um, find Holly or find me, and, and, and we can. We, we uh, it would be helpful for us. Uh, what else we got here? That Sunday, then, so a week from today, December twenty sixth, there's only one worship service, and it's at ten a.m. It's a combined worship service, ten a.m. next Sunday. One worship service combined, ten a.m. next Sunday in this space. And I will be there too. And then check your bulletin this week for things that you normally do at the church because a lot of things are taking a break because of uh, just the busyness of preparing for Christmas and then the rest afterwards. So check your bulletin to see. Uh, call up maybe beforehand if, if, if you're wondering. Almost all the choirs, well, I think all the choirs are practicing this week because they got a lot of work to do on Friday. Uh, but most other things like fellowship and education are, are taking a break this week, okay? And finally, um, as you heard in the prayers, our, our uh, brother in Christ, Mark and Beth Hefkin, joined our church about five years ago. And Mark died suddenly last week, uh, about 74 years old. He's gonna, they're going to have a small family funeral at Cotner Funeral Home that I'll lead tomorrow. Uh, so keep Bev in your prayers as she begins this uh, difficult journey alone. With all that, we'll have our, our blessing. Please stand. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you all with favor and grant you God's peace. Amen.
peace that serve the Lord. Amen.